for tonight's throwdown, we would like to welcome Hunter Jarvis from GoodBullHunting.com representing Texas A&M. In the other corner, Tony Breland from BamaHammer.com representing Alabama and defending champion of the Blogger Throwdown. First of all, welcome, fellas. Don't speak. You know the rules. 30 seconds on the clock or we shut you down. Are you ready? Ready to go. Let's get it. Let's all get right. it on. Tony, you're defending, chirps, uh, defending champ, so you get to go first. A.J. McCarron has been able to put up solid numbers behind a great offensive line. But with the Aggies' strong pass rush coming to town this weekend, will McCarron be able to continue his success? Well, A.J. McCarron had a rough game last week by his standards. Going into the final game, uh, the final drive of the game against LSU, he was one for seven for zero yards. But with the game on the line, he answered the call. Now, Texas A&M does bring pressure. They've got 27 sacks on the season, but A.J. can avoid that pass rush by checking down to guys like T.J. Yeldon, just like he did last week. Alabama's got great balance on offense. Only 60 yards separate their season totals in the air and on the ground, and that balance is the key to beating the Aggie defense. All right, Hunter, will Demontre Moore and company with that vicious pass rush, will they be able to get to McCarron and disrupt his game? No question. Like you said, Demontre Moore tied for the lead in the nation in sacks at 11 half on the season. I know Alabama has got some beef up front. They got a pretty good offensive line. That one we got in College Station ain't bad either, especially the two bookends. Demontre and those guys go against those guys every day. They're going to get in A.J. McCarron's face, and they're going to cause some problems. All right, Hunter, but let's talk about the other side of the ball. I know Texas A&M's offense is very fast-paced. Can they do anything against Alabama's defense? Will it even be watchable on that side of the ball? Of course they will. Have you been paying attention this year? They've had success against LSU and Florida, two top-tier elite defenses, so to speak, in the SEC. Now, he wasn't able to win those games. You're looking at his first collegiate game and uh, what is his seventh collegiate game. Johnny Manziel will have success this Saturday. Whether it's on, his, on the ground, I can't say, but I definitely think he's going to have some success through the air to watch the middle of the field. Tony, call nonsense. That's nonsense. That's crap. Uh, listen, I looked at this Alabama's defense. Sick, nine points allowed per game, and I thought the numbers had to be skewed. So I threw out all the cupcakes, and I threw out the out-of-conference games, including Michigan, and I looked at only the SEC games, including last week against LSU. Points allowed per game, 10.1. Crimson Tide are not giving up anywhere near that average 44 points a game against the Aggies. Welcome to the SEC, fellas. All right, Tony, right back at you. As we keep looking at Bama's defense, what will they have to do specifically to contain Johnny Manziel, who not only gets it done in the air, but on the ground and off the field as well? Well, I mentioned the Wolverines earlier, and Alabama faced a similar situation with Denard Robinson. The key is to make him one-dimensional. If he runs, he's going to have to contend with guys like C.J. Mosley, who's been in on 69 tackles this season. And if he throws, he has to deal with Robert Lester, who's got three picks. Either way, this is going to be the best defense by far that Johnny Football's seen yet. All right, Hunter, how does he avoid what happened against LSU and play better against Bama? Look down the field, not turn the ball over. You know, we were driving, especially in the second half. Uh, you don't see it on the stat sheet. Had key turnovers, had a fumble, had a receiver, had a ball bounce off his chest. we got to stay away from turnovers. Johnny Manziel is going to have a better game this week. He's going to put up yards against this Alabama defense. Like I said, our receiving core is too good. You're going to watch the matchups on the linebackers. It's going to be open in the middle of the field. Hunter, let's get down to brass tacks. Will A&M pull off the upset this weekend? Absolutely. Alabama fought a hard, emotional game in Tiger Stadium last Saturday. They're going to come out slow. They're going to come out a little down, and you're going to see Al uh, excuse me, Texas a and pull the upset of the century this weekend. Ooh, wow. Pretty confident. Ooh. Now, Tony, uh, is Nick Saban even going to be able to keep his team focused after last week's emotional win and not overlook this game? Some people call it a, a reverse trap. It's after the big game. I think that was a Freudian slip. He's right about that. 102,000 cheering Crimson Tide fans in Tuscaloosa backing them up. And I know it's a cliche, but I really believe Nick Saban truly has this team taking it one game at a time and not overlooking anybody. They play each game with intensity and desire. And particularly after last week, I see a team that is working as one unit. They are coming to town, they're coming back home, and they're going to take care of business. Tony, how bad of a beating do you foresee? It's gonna get, it's gonna get ugly. I mean, Johnny Football will get his yards, but this is gonna be 
We're talking about a 35-17 game. Oh, wow. Not even covered. Oh. <laughs> it's only eight. It sounds like a blowout right there. Wow. What say you, Hunter? Come on now. 24-21, A&M takes down the tide. Bam, calling for the upset. Who you, who you got? I don't know. Oh, we, do we have a repeat champ or we got a new winner? I'm stalling. I, you, got, you got to pick this one. All right. You know how I feel about this game. So we have a new throwdown oh. champ, Hunter Jarvis from goodbullhunting.com. Call the upset. He's on the Johnny Football bandwagon. Tony Breland's not very happy, but he might have the last say oh. after all in the national championship yeah. game from Hammerhammer.com. Wait, Wait. What? no, yeah. no, we gotta yeah. wait for this one because if Hunter ends up being wrong, he can't still retain his victory. All right. Then he falls right. to win if they right. get there behind the game. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, thank you guys for coming in. We appreciate you. Check him out, Hunter Jarvis of goodbullhunting.com and Tony Breland of BamaHammer.com. We have not yet declared a winner. You have to check back <laughs> with us.